Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Just want to make a quick video to give you an update on this pastel lesser super striped girl. Up until a few months ago, she was taking her prey items without a miss. And then she started to lose interest. So missing one meal isn't a big deal, but then she missed another one. And I found her coiled up around her water bowl like this. Now female bell pythons will go to the cool end in order to develop follicles. So I decided to palpate her and see if I can feel any follicles. I'm not an expert when it comes to palpating, so I might have missed it the first time. That's why I decided to put a male in with her to see what happens. Some of you already know that the male I used is a pastel desert ghost. And sure enough, they locked up. After that, she started to eat again. Now she wasn't taking her prey at every meal. She would take a couple meals and then maybe miss a meal, then take a couple more, then miss one, and then take one and miss one. So it wasn't uh, like clockwork, but it was okay because she continued to feed. A month later, I palpated her again, and that time I think I felt about five follicles. They felt like roughly 15 millimeters. So at this point I felt pretty happy and I began to put the pastel desert ghost with her on a monthly basis. This here I believe is the first lock after I felt the follicles. And I believe this is the second time after I felt the follicles. So all in total it was three times that I put this pastel desert ghost male with the lesser pastel super stripe. So a couple of days ago, I put the mail with her again, and there wasn't a lock. If there was, I didn't see it. So I decided to palpate her again. Here's me trying to palpate her on, on video, and I'm trying to put this cloth around her, and I'm just fumbling around. The cloth really helps to reduce some of the friction, but it's really hard to get it on camera. So here's just me fumbling around and around and around, and... Well, let's just cut to the part where I actually do it correctly. Now there's plenty of people who are much more experienced than I am at palpating, so it's probably better if you learn from them. But I do want to show you how far along she is. So here I am palpating her and you can see me going through and just watch my finger. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So here it is again. Uh, I'm not putting that much pressure on her, but just watch my finger. You can actually see it bounce up and down inside her body cavity. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I did manage to finally get on video palpating her with a towel. It does reduce friction, however, with that towel there, you can't see my hand. But because her follicles are so big at this point, you can see her whole body move up and down as she slides back into the tub. Bump, 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 bump. How many bumps was that? Five or six? I lost count. But here it is again. I'm going to show you. As she's sliding in to the tub, when the follicles pass over the edge of the tub, it makes her look like she's jerking into the tub. Yeah. I'm going to let her continue developing and hopefully I can catch the ovulation on video. So that's all guys. Have a wonderful and happy holiday. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.